in which treasure your heart is we see this in the gospel of matthew chapter 6 verse 21 let us read it together for where your treasure is there your heart will also be so here our lord jesus christ makes it clear that where our treasure is there our heart will be so which treasure what kind of a treasure jesus christ is talking about here so to know which kind of a treasure he is talking about we have to see the about two verses that is 19th verse and 20th verse so in the 19th verse there is the first treasure he talks about and that is do not store up for yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal the first treasure is the treasure of earth so do not store up the treasure in this earth or do not work do not live for the treasure of this world of this earth there the thieves will come and steal it away where the moth and the rust will destroy your tre- treasure means here christ says that how much ever you store your treasure on this earth it is going to get destroyed there is no benefit no gaining from the treasure of this world because the people who store up the treasure in this world they will also pass away they will also die and the treasure which they keep which they store that will also get destroyed so jesus christ says the firstly the treasure of this world if your heart is on storing up the treasures of this world then it is going to get destroyed where your heart is see heart we have to have a heart to take care of family to work but that doesn't mean that our complete life uh is only to earn money just for the name sake we are saying that we have to take care of a family but completely what are we doing we are earning only our heart is in the earning itself so jesus christ where your heart is means the thing which takes your whole life means with all your life you are just only about learning you are just only into the learning then that becomes your heart if your whole life is just only into the learning gaining knowledge gaining power you know storing up the gold silver living in the majesty fully luxury life if your life is only into that then there only your heart will also be that is what the lord jesus christ saying and that life is going to get destroyed your treasure will also will get destroyed and also your life will also get destroyed and that destroyed in the sense after death you will have no life means you don't have eternal life you will end up in hell that is the treasure firstly jesus talks about and the second treasure he talks about in the verse 20th let us read it but store up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor dust rust destroys and where thieves do not break in or steal so here store up the treasure the treasure of the heaven the treasure of heaven where there are no moth no rust nothing your treasure will not get destroyed no no do thieves come and steal your treasure and that the treasure of heaven is eternal life how do we get that eternal life by having the faith in the lord jesus christ that he died for us and god the father raised jesus christ on the third day by believing this with all our heart he considers us righteous people and he gives us salvation and that faith is the treasure of heaven and living our life righteous that is the treasure of heaven if you are seeking the god's kingdom and the righteousness that is the treasure of heaven for the sake of righteousness we are enduring all the hardships that is the treasure of heaven every day we are denying ourselves we are taking up our cross and following the lord jesus christ that is the 
treasure of heaven. Every day we are confessing our sins before the Lord Jesus Christ and we are asking and we are repenting from our sins every day and every day we are turning to the Lord Jesus Christ and in his sanctification process that is the treasure of heaven. Until the death when we are witness, when we are glorifying the Lord, when we are being the witness to the Lord Jesus Christ, that is the treasure of heaven. For the Christ name, for his sake, if we are having, enduring all kinds of persecution, that is the treasure of heaven. Where is your heart? If we are reading the God's word, understanding the God's word and living according to it, observing according to the God's word, then that is the treasure of heaven. And we are having the understanding of our God's word in a correct way. In the truth, if we are, then that is the treasure of heaven. Where is your treasure? In which is your treasure is? In this, on this earth or the treasure of heaven? Which is your treasure? The treasure of earth or the treasure of heaven? We have to examine ourselves every day, every moment. If we are into having the treasure on this earth and we are going against the Lord, Jesus Christ, then today is the time Christ is telling you that repent from your sins. Turn away from making that treasure on this earth. Turn yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ and make a decision today and turn to the Lord that you no longer will go into that same life of storing the treasure of this earth. Tell to the Lord that Lord this is my life and you are the one who is leading me and I want your treasure I want your eternal life because the eternal life is the free gift of God there is a free gift on this earth if you want to earn more money more luxury life you have to work a lot but the Lord Jesus Christ says that the eternal life is a free gift of God if you believe the Lord Jesus Christ your faith is in the Lord Jesus Christ that faith will give you the gift of eternal life let us pray Lord Heavenly Father thank you for your beautiful time precious time the people who have heard encourage them Lord enrich their knowledge in your word more and more and thank you for this word those who need Lord I pray that, that this video would go to all those people who need this and uh, Lord we ask the same times where we hear your voice through your word and we want you to be in our life Lord thank you Lord bless all those people with your word with your knowledge in Jesus precious name we pray Amen Firstly, I would like to thank my Lord Jesus Christ for giving me this beautiful opportunity and also I would like to thank all of you, those who have watched this and also those who have watched the previous videos, those who have subscribed to our channel. By subscribing, you are supporting our ministry, you have supported, thank you for that. And those who are watching for the first time, those who did not uh, subscribe our channel, please kindly do subscribe our channel. By subscribing, you are supporting our ministry. The ministry is all about teaching and the preaching, the God's word in the truthful so, God bless you all with his word, with his knowledge. All glory, honor to the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.